Hello, boys and girls. My name is Mike Kelly, animatorsforum.com, and Real Illusion Forum. Uh, today, I'm going to do something about losing your hair. <laughs> Actually, I, you know, I'm an old man, a really old man, and for some reason, I still have a full head of hair. Uh, I wish I could say I was happy or disappointed, whatever. I, it's it just is. It is what it is. You know, I guess I'm glad I never went bald, but. So many of the people that we're trying to create or recreate, particularly now what we have head shop, uh, are not in that same lucky position, I guess. So it's always tough to find short men's hair. There's a number of uh, men's hairs that we have, but uh, trying to get something decent is, is tough. And I'm not going to say that this is decent. I just want to give you some ideas on what you can do. So <clears throat> here's, a, here's a pretty good, you know, if you look at this guy, particularly if you look at him from, from a ways, that's, that doesn't look too bad. That's that's kind of a nice balding sort of effect. Uh, you could get a lot better. But how I did this was, I want to show you, give you some ideas on how to do this. So what I used is the classic taper. So I've already already saved this. But if we go to the classic taper, when you first load this in, it doesn't look real useful for old guys. It looks like a full head of hair. And, um, and so the first thing we want to do is always make sure, you know, you're using the digital human hair shadings, <clears throat> excuse me, because they're much, much better. So we always want to change that if you're using the new iClone, or excuse me, using the new character creator, which I certainly hope you are. Okay, so what can we do about making this full head of hair look a lot less like a full head of hair? First thing we want to do is get rid of the scalp completely, uh, because what happens is, you know, your scalp disappears. So the easy way to do this is just turn out the opacity. So we just reduce that opacity. You can already see now, just by doing that, we're starting to get some, some balding areas, which is really good because that's what happens. I am told. <laughs> no, actually, I think, I think my hair is thinning maybe. I don't know. It probably is thinning, but it's uh, certainly not this. Getting white for sure. Okay, so now what else do we do? So we go into here and we're going to go to Edit Mesh. So that's basically the tools we're going to have. Now, if you have outside editing programs, uh, the reason I got this idea was I think somebody on the forums, MythCons or somebody was uh, saying he was took this in a ZBrush and did it. I don't own ZBrush, so I don't know. Um, you know, I have 3D Coat, which I probably could do this in, but I'm just doing it here inside of Character Creator. You can do it. It's not as good, but... Uh, because the selection tools aren't as good, but at least it gives you an idea. So if you turn on soft selection, you kind of always want to have soft selection on. And so basically, let's uh, stop that. We'll, uh, <laughs> you're going to just play around with this. So basically, you're going to select some meshes. You can turn ignore back faces on or off, depending upon how you want this to go. And you're going to just have to kind of play with this a bit to see. But in this particular case, if I do that, and you're always going to be using the moving tools. So we're going to, ah, let's try that again. Do that, and moving tools, and we'll move move some of that hair down. And don't be too concerned if the um, the soft selection. Oh, I didn't have the soft selection. Let's back that up again. Soft selection. There we go. Now we go. We want soft selection because we want that edges to feather out. And you can play around with uh, both. The, I don't think the radius needs to be too big, but the bias. See, the the less bias you have, the sharper the edge will be. So I like to have it at a very uh, small bias there. So. We push that down into there like that. Uh, again, you're gonna you're gonna just kind of work around with this and experiment. I'm using the E hotkey, uh, E hotkey or W hotkey, whichever one I'm using. Let's see, W hotkey to uh, to switch to the moving things. So again, you're gonna you're gonna just kind of not selecting that for some reason. Let's turn that off to get down to that. There we go. And I always select the the E hotkey by mistake instead of the W one. There we go. <laughs> I still do that. And one thing you can do is when you get this, if you look at it, you'll see it's kind of crumply up there. So when you do that, when you get that crumply look, what you do is you go into the faces, select them still, and hopefully you have soft selection on. And then you use the uh, relax. So you can relax this. You can either smooth it or you can relax them. Uh, relaxing and smoothing do much the same thing, but in slightly different ways so you can you can do that and get a kind of a smoother look and then of course still uh, push them down in and so basically it's just a matter of working with it you can see now I'm kind of got a bald area on top there and uh, and then you can play with <laughs> just how much you want to torment this guy into uh, what you're doing so uh, basically again uh, I want to I want to have the back faces on here because I want to get some of the faces in front here ah why does that turn off like that? Ah, 
I've talked to the developers about this. Um, and then, you, you know, you could also use these tools too. You could use the shrinkage tools, but I find that generally the moving tools are the best and uh, move it around, move it back a little bit off the front of his head there. And of course we have this hair selected, so that probably wasn't a good idea. <laughs> That's because I have the, the uh, ignore back faces selected. So, and you know that if you press the, um, the uh, W key twice, it changes the angle of how it moves. So the first movement is by the actual viewpoint movement, and then the second uh, press is actually how the mesh you selected the particular uh, movement for that. So that, smooth out some stuff there, maybe this. Anyway, I'm not going to go through all of it. I, I spent about 10 minutes going through it, but basically that's, that's how you get your bald look and you... Uh, and kind of work and then the last thing of course you want to do is you want to go to the um, mesh itself and adjust the color because all of us old guys including me where our hair gets gray we we get the uh, the radiation of the <laughs> of the air maybe bump up the contrast a little bit so you get a little bit of a little bit of contrast in there salt and pepper look so anyway that's just playing around with as you can see it's a it's a much thinner look uh, you can play for hours and get different kinds of, of looks you can actually you know, get rid of some of this stuff in front by hiding it. We've shown you hide. If you hide the hairs, though, you're going to get a sharp line in between them. So I, I do think it's better in, instead of hiding to just kind of um, move the, the uh, selections themselves. So, for example, if you really wanted to have that classic, um, you know, bald look, you could get this in front. <sighs> Soft selection, guys. Uh, I don't know why it's doing that to me. And yeah, like that. And then uh, we just move it down into the head itself. So ah, if I get the right, there we go. Move it into the head. So that kind of then makes it disappear completely like that. So just, just ways. And again, once we would want to probably soft, soften up those edges there. But, but that gives you an idea of, you know, you can get the, a lot of different balding looks. Uh, and I would definitely want to soften those edges up of the hair. So hopefully this gives you an idea of how you can torture your, <laughs> your own guys. Ah, oh, dear. Uh, I, you know, it is bad. I, I, I kid a little bit about it. Obviously, I, I'm, I'm, if I was losing my hair, I think I probably would be upset about it. So, uh, uh, But as it is, it just means I have to go to the barber more often, so that's kind of a pain in the ass, too. And it uh, gives you an idea. So there you go. So that's uh, have fun making your guys bald and, uh, and giving them different looks. <laughs> just selected the ears of the guy and hopefully that helps because we we cannot have enough uh short hair uh short men's hair looks so we'll see on the forums <laughs>